Hey guys, today we're going to be tying what I like to call the live bait loop knot. Uh, it's got diff several different names out there, but that's what I like to call it because it's a great knot for uh, giving your bait a little extra action. It gives the hook some more freedom for that bait to move around. Uh, and even for some, for some soft plastics and some lures, I like to use it, but it's a great live bait knot. So let's get started here. So obviously we're tying to our, to our bait, to our hook. So we're going to start with the end of the leader. First thing I'm going to do is just going to put a little square knot in the line. So just run the through the uh, loop of its of itself here to create a little square knot. Leave yourself about three inches um, between the knot and the end of the line. Here we are there. And that's before the hook's even in the picture. So once we have our square knot, we're gonna take uh, our hook and slide it on the leader. And I'm just using a circle hook here, for example. So once we have this loop here, the square knot is obviously up the line of the hook. We're gonna take our tag end that we have and we're gonna run it back through this loop. So here's what we have now. Is we have the hook, we have our loop, and we have our tag end through that loop. Then you're gonna pinch this whole uh, assembly in, in one hand between your pointer finger and your thumb. And you're gonna wrap this tag end around the main line anywhere from three to five times, depending on your leader size. Uh, for example, I'm using 30 in this video. Uh, I would say three wraps is the right number if you're using something heavier like 50. Uh, I would say two wraps, you could even go down to two wraps or something lighter with about t uh, 20 to 15 pound leader, you could probably do four to five. Um, to be honest, if you're gonna use this knot with anything heavier than 50 or 60, uh, you're gonna probably wanna just go uni knot to the to the hook. So you're probably not gonna wanna use this knot above 50 pound leader, but anything 50 or below, I would I would go two, two wraps or more. So let's just do that. So we're gonna start with, with three wraps for this 30 pound leader, one, two, three. So once we have our wraps, we're gonna run that knot back through the loop, or uh, run the tag end back through the loop. And once we have that, we're gonna grab it, snug it up a little bit, like so. Then like I always say, you're gonna wanna moisten your knot. Then you're gonna wanna pull on the main line and the tag end, which you're gonna wanna do. You could probably use some pliers, um, but once you do that, you're not snugged up and you got a great loop knot, great for live bait and uh, great for any, any lure application as well. 